hey, hey, hey. What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? Hey, what's goody? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's goody? Hey, wait. Welcome back to my main channel. And if you would like to know my thoughts and opinions, watch till the end. Peace. Okay. I want something homemade because the stuff, like deep conditioners and stuff, they cost a lot of money and they don't feel like they work. So today I did a DIY hair mask that consisted of a raw egg, a cup of mayo, and a tablespoon of olive oil. Looking up online, it looks like these ingredients help combat dry hair, which all curly girls suffer from. Our curly hair can always use more moisture. So that's what I'm really gonna try today. Eggs acts as an effective conditioner. It adds shine to your hair. Olive oil is an amazing elixir for making your hair stronger. And honey helps keep your hair hydrated and vinegar is responsible for treating hair loss. So you can use them regularly to make your locks a whole lot stronger and healthier. And today we're going to test that claim. What is a protein treatment and why do I need it? Eggs are probably the best protein treatment for heat damaged natural hair because they are rich not only in protein but in beneficial enzymes. Egg is a natural good protein treatment for damaged hair because hair that has been treated via heat or product tends to be very dry and very, very brittle. And that's the problem I'm dealing with today. I want my hair to not be dry, not be brittle. I want to see some evidence that, you know, this works. How often should I be doing these protein treatments? Should it be once a week, once a month? Like, could it damage my hair if I do it too much, too little, etc.? The recommended frequency for an Afrogee protein treatment, which is a, a brand name product, is once every four to six weeks. Of course, depending on your hair regimen and how frequent, frequent and often you take care of it and have a routine for it, um, if applied more often, it says it's unlikely that any further benefit would be obtained. Assuming the application was done correctly according to the directions and human error is taken out of the equation, if it's done right, you should only have to do a protein treatment every four to six months. And that being said, I'm expecting it to feel and act a certain way before, during, and after the treatment. In the beginning, the solution was slimy and automatically smelly. So if smells bother you or if you have a sensitive nose or whatever the case may be, that can be a hindrance and very annoying if your hair stinks like ranky mayo that's disgusting. But that I could get over. So I let it sit in my hair for about 30 minutes. And then I just rinsed it out with water. My result is non-conclusive. I don't think this works. It doesn't feel like softer. It doesn't feel softer uh, like when you put in conditioner in your hair. I can tell that there's oil in my hair um, yeah. there are no signs that show me that this is going to be beneficial long term it definitely feels different when it's wet versus once it's dried and now that my hair is dry about 90% dry I would say it doesn't feel significantly 
smoother than when you would use a store-bought conditioner I just don't see the results I don't know it just looks like I washed and dried my hair and didn't put any products in it after that so it's still in my opinion it still looks dry feels dry but I would say for all I know this was a fail the struggle oh and one thing that I noticed was that there are flakes in my hair I don't know if you can tell well you could tell because I showed you but I don't know if by looking at it you could tell but there are dried up flakes in my hair I don't know if it's like congealed eggs as if the raw egg that was put in my hair I don't know something some particles are still left in my hair which means I need to wash my hair again which defeats the purpose of doing the conditioning treatment there are a lot of natural ingredients and combinations that kind of work together clearly this combination didn't work for me I don't know you let me know what I should do. Should I try it again? A part of having healthy hair is you need moisture and you need shine and you need softness. And I don't have that right now. So, any recommendations? Put them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I see you. Do it! <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, stay awesome. <laughs>